Hi everybody, and welcome back to Nikki Chanel's YouTube channel. I am Nikki Chanel here, and today we are going to be continuing our series on HRT and transition by talking about HRT and its effects on my body. Now, a couple disclaimers before we get started. I am not a medical professional. This is not backed by any medical journal or science or anything like that. This is simply me talking about my experiences on it. Now, other information was gleaned from my doctor, from talking to my fellow trans sisters, as well as just general use things I've learned on the internet. Now, one other thing to kind of get out of the way is that HRT affects everyone differently. So everything that I'm going to talk about in this video, do not take it as an absolute maximum of this is what's going to happen to you. It affected me based off a number of factors, uh, gender, age, and just simply genetics. It affects everyone differently because of the general rule of thumb with HRT is that the closer you are to puberty age, 15 to 18 year age, is how much it will affect you. I started transitioning at 24 years old and I started medically transitioning at 25. So HRT did not have the same effects on me as it would someone who is in puberty age. And so we are going to get started by talking about the three main topics of my body, how it affected my body, mental state, how it affected me emotionally and my mental state, and then some common misconceptions and lesser known things about HRT, okay? So let us get started. So now with the body, we are not going to be talking about what is down there. This is mature audiences preferred. However, I'm not gonna be talking about what's down there. There's plenty of other YouTube videos that describe it. As a general rule of thumb, I had everything that you read about online, that's what happened to me. Now. For the body, there is going to be three main things I'm going to talk about for the body. It's going to be, um, let's get started on the first one, is development of secondary sex characteristics in female, aka the chest. Now, if you don't know what HRT does, look it up, it does a lot. But what I'm gonna say is that I take two pills. I take spironolactone and estradiol. Spironolactone is a testosterone blocker, and estradiol is estrogen to replace that testosterone that my body does not produce anymore. And so the chest development did happen. However, I do not take progesterone, which is the common secondary sex growth hormone that a lot of people claim online. My doctor said it's an unknown quantity of whichever one. So that one, I would consult with your doctor before you take progesterone. And so with me is that I do not have the greatest chest development ever because I started at age 24. My chest will be solved eventually through breast augmentation, but that is to come. Now, the second one is going to be fat redistribution. So generally to understand this is that where your fat went as a male is generally going to change where it's going to go when you start HRT and have been on it for a long period of time. So like with me, all of my fat only used to go to my stomach area. Now it goes to my hips and thighs as well as to my face. My face became more full as a result of HRT. It filled in some of the concavedness that I had as a male, and it generally overall gave it a much sharper and more full appearance. So I would say the face is probably one of the major changes that I had because of that. Me, I didn't have much fat redistribution on my body because A, I run the mile every single morning, and I am a very fit and well nutritioned individual. Um, I don't eat junk food. I maintain a very specific cardio and workout regimen. So generally I did not really have fat redistribution because there was no fat there to begin with. That being said, I did gain a little bit more hips and I do have a natural hourglass figure by this point. However, I don't know how much of that was from working out in corsets versus HRT. Generally is that what you will experience is you will experience the hourglass shape forming because of HRT. Now the other one is going to be hair thinning. Hair thinning is, I definitely experienced that. Um, I used to have a lot of facial hair as well as a lot of body hair. Like my legs were black. It was a very, very thick hair. I don't have that really anymore. Granted, I do have had laser hair removal on my face, arms, and legs. But my chest area, I've not had any laser hair removal. And yes, I have noticed that the hair does come in thinner and it's not as thick and not nearly as coarse as it was. So with a quick shave, I can be pretty much completely hairless on my chest area. And that's generally the rule of thumb on the rest of my body. Now, 
let us move on to my emotional state. Now for my emotional state, generally the way you can think about it is that when you are on estrogen, you experience a greater range of emotions than when you were as a male pre-HRT. So with me is that when I experienced happiness as a male, which was rare, I'll admit that, I experience greater levels of happiness now as a woman just because of HRT. You experience emotions differently. I can't really describe it. But there was, I'll give you an example. There was one time when I was looking at these cute dog photos on Twitter and I started crying over those dog photos. I think it was because like I have a soft spot for dogs or because HRT allowed me to emphasize more with what that animal was going through. But I started crying over dog photos and I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. And I never did that as a male, but now on HRT that happens. And the other one that you start to experience is you start to experience mood swings. I have heard that that is a side effect. And I would say that definitely happens with me. It more so happens at work rather than anything. And I think it may just be like stress levels at work that causes it. However, mood swings is that I could be the happiest individual ever. And then within 20 minutes, I'm like this raging, crazy psycho who's like punching stuff. So it's really weird in how that affects you, but it does and it's fascinating. And I have definitely seen it affect my emotional state. Now, that being said, my general overall emotional state is way better because I am now more fe female and feminine than I ever was before as a male. And so I would say that in a confidence level boost, it definitely boosted my confidence. So I experience happiness and euphoria more often just because I can be myself. And so that is what HRT, again, that's kind of the point I'm doing with all these videos. HRT allows us to be us. And, and because of HRT, my emotional state, I don't have depression anymore. I don't really have anxiety anymore. I had anxiety early on in HRT when I wasn't passing and I was worried about people clocking me. But now that I'm a little bit better at passing, it is easier for me to maintain an overall general happier element. So mental state and emotional range for HRT, I definitely have experienced that. Now, moving into our misconceptions and side effects of HRT is, again, I'm not a medical professional. Seek your doctor for any real advice on HRT because it affects everyone differently. Now, a couple of big things is that it does not change your voice. This is my boy voice. Uh, this is my actual boy voice and everything like that. And so to gain a more feminine voice, you have to do voice training. You have to gradually get it higher over voice training and you can go to professionals about that or there's a million YouTube videos on how to sound female for trans women. Uh, on trans men, it does affect your voice because I know a trans man and it, their voice is totally different than they were as a female. The other one that it does not do is it does not change your bone structure. Your bone structure is there. HRT is not going to change that. Now, if you are 12 years old going on HRT, it may actually affect your bone structure. I don't know how true that is, but that's not going to happen to a 24 year old or a 50 year old. And so the greater range of changes that you will experience is going to be, is, as I talked about in my body video, closer to puberty age. I started at 24, my bone structure is the same. So like, for example, my hands, they look fairly male. They're, they're gonna be like that forever. And so that is just what you have to understand is that when you go on HRT, it doesn't do magical cure-all thing. I heard about one where their eye color changed because of HRT and my eye color is exactly the same as it was before. My hands look the same. They get even softer just because my skin is softer from HRT, but that's it. Now, the biggest side effect, and this is what everyone needs to be aware of when you go into this, is um, your sex drive is pretty much non-existent. It's still there, but it's mostly because of the testosterone blockers, because sex drive is from testosterone, and with less testosterone in your body, you have less overall sex drive. And then the other one is that I can no longer bear children because I am sterile. HRT has removed my ability to bear children. For me, that was a that was an okay side effect because I did not want to have 
children of my own. I was always okay with adoption. And so losing the ability to bear children and have children, yeah, that isn't something I wasn't okay with. Plus, I'm never going to have intercourse with a woman because that's just not what I want. And so I was okay with losing that ability. I made a conscious decision to do that. Now, there's a million other side effects and misconceptions about HRT. If you are just getting started on HRT or you are thinking about doing it, I would look up those side effects because apparently there is a cancer risk in there, which is why I did not do progesterone was for that reason. And there's just, there's so many on there. So if you, when you get on it, I would talk to a doctor and I would lay out everything. My doctor and I had a two and a half hour long conversation about HRT before I made the decision to do it, okay? So again, just letting you know, do your research before you start. I hope you've enjoyed this conversation about talking about HRT and its effects on my body. Now, again, to reiterate, everyone's body is totally different, so it will have different changes for you that I have experienced. Now, remember these are based on the factors of combinations, genetics, age, it all affects how HRT changes you. Now, again, the main thing I wanna reiterate is that these pills are very powerful. They change your body at a pretty substantial level. Like I developed a chest from this thing, okay? These pills are not to be taken lightly, so you need to understand the risks and you need to understand everything that will happen. So please talk to your doctor. I had a two and a half hour long conversation with my doctor and I'm glad he did that. He gave it to me real and told me the, there's these effects in there, there's a cancer risk, there is effects in there that are not necessarily that good. Overall, I'm happy with all of the effects on my body. The ability to lose children is probably, probably the biggest one of these factors that was the one that was like, okay, I really had to think about that one, but I chose not to do it and I will live with the consequences for the rest of my life and plain and simple. Overall, I enjoy my body now. I love my body. I've loved all the changes that it has happened to me. And overall, I'm very happy with my HRT effects. So remember, do your math and understand the risk before you start this. Now, with that being said, please like and subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel. It helps us grow. Um, please comment anything down there that you may have experienced yourself from HRT that I probably missed in this video. So please keep the conversation going and you all have a wonderful day, babes.